hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog i just got myself ready to go out as i'm going to pick up my order from sephora since it is their like annual one of their annual sales i don't even know what you call it their spring event i think it's called um where depending on like what tier you're in you get 10 15 20 percent off so i ordered a bunch of things last night for both my mom and i and i'm just about to go pick it up it is still quite chilly out so i'm still haven't put away the turtlenecks <laughs> um but i'm gonna go for a walk probably pick up a coffee on the way there too just get some fresh air the sun is out today i was so sad because when i woke up this morning it was like so like overcast and i was like oh no not another day of rain and then the sun ended up coming out so it's so so beautiful today it's bringing me just so much joy so anyways i'm just gonna tidy up a little bit before i leave the house um and then i'm just gonna go for a walk hopefully i'm warm enough we'll see um, but then hopefully when I get back, I can show you. I also got some new things um, sent to me from Holland Cooper, and I am so excited. Honestly, every time I get sent stuff from Holland Cooper, it's like Christmas morning for me. Like the amount of excitement that I get from Holland Cooper is kind of embarrassing. Um, I'm always just so impressed by everything that I get from them. So I'm gonna do that. I'll hopefully do that unboxing with you. I just got a package in the mail. I have no idea what it is. So I'm going to go get that and then I'll head out the door. But yeah, I thought I'd take you with me for my nice little walk. And um, yeah, so anyways, I'm going to go because the sun is shining and I want to go feel the sunshine on my face. Thank God I put SPF on though. <laughs> anyways, I'm going to get going and then we'll chat later. Hello everyone. I am back home now. I am just got in some cozy clothes. I'm in my um, lily silk white blouse and then just my little unwind cardigan because we all know it's my favorite cardigan all right so i am just sat here i just got myself a comfy um oh, my battery is gonna die that's so annoying but um i've just got my bag from sephora and this is all the stuff i picked up a few of them are actually for my mom she's kind of being a little bit of a guinea pig because some of the things that she got i'm gonna try and if i like them then i'll buy them for myself too <laughs> um but i want to go through kind of all the things that i bought um because they are having their sale right now um but i did want to just kind of go through all the items that i bought and honestly a lot of them were new because i did my makeup the other day and i said my mom was here with me and i was like i'm just gonna do my makeup completely different this time like i was like i'm gonna be so adventurous and um it looked the exact same <laughs> So I was like, I think it's time to venture out and get some new things um, Even then I don't think they're that different, but It's fine. We're gonna try them out and um, we'll see how I get on with them But anyways, let me go grab a new battery and then I can show you everything that's in here. Sorry. I just took my sweat off I was getting hot <laughs> um, so um with this stuff the first kind of two things that I got are actually skincare products that Sorry for the sirens. Just give me one second okay and the sirens have passed um so what i was saying was one of the things that i love to go for with sales is skincare products that i am constantly going through so the two things that i picked up were my skin fix cleanser and my clinique moisture surge these are my like holy grail products so this is the skin fix foaming oil cleanser so this is a sulfate free cleanser it is also vegan cruelty free if that is something that you look for in your products um, but for me, this is something that takes off my makeup. It takes off my SPF, which is super, super important. So yes, using SPF is important, but taking it off is also just as important. So this is something it's got no scent, so no fragrance. Um, it's also something that doesn't leave my skin feeling super like dry. This is like the only thing I use. <laughs> um, it's just, it's really, really, really good. Um, the other thing you guys know um, is my Clinique Moisture Surge. Um, oh, this is... Is this different? I think they gave me the wrong one. They gave me a new one. So I've always gotten the 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator and it seems like they now have a 100 hour auto replenishing hydrator. This is also sustainable packaging. Um, but anyways, the Clinique Moisture Surge line is one that I absolutely love. Again, very minimal fragrance. Is there even a fragrance in here? I, Yeah, so it's pretty much got no fragrance in here, but this is something that is really, really light. I love using this moisturizer underneath makeup. This is the type of moisturizer that doesn't just feel heavy on your skin, but again, because I guess it's got that auto replenishing hydrator, it really does moisturize your skin and actually makes it feel like 
you've hydrated your skin without putting on something that is super super heavy so this has been my like holy grail for i don't even know it's the one moisturizer that i don't feel like makes my skin feel heavy or, or anything like that i just absolutely love it so if you've been on the hunt or you just want to try something new highly recommend that clinique moisture surge the other thing that i got um, was this dior addict lip glow so if you guys know i've been loving my dior color reviver balm it's like all i use now and i really wanted to get something else from this same line because i just love how it feels on the lips um so the one that i had gotten was in shade 001 pink so that one is the one that is kind of customizable so when you put it on depending on your body heat ph whatever it kind of you get a custom color but i wanted to get a different color so um i went with one of their just like individual color so this one doesn't adjust or anything this is 012 rosewood so it's more like a rosy pink but the thing i love about these is that they just feel like a lip balm like i really really love this color i think it's so natural anyway that's the other thing that i got i just it was something that i knew i loved and i like how they feel on the lips so i just went with a totally different color again that was 012 rosewood was the color for this one that's the next thing i got the next two things that i got were also from dior um i guess because dior is a brand that i've really been wanting to dabble in um this was the perfect timing because again there was a bit of a sale on so i got two different palettes actually one of them is for my mom um and this is the guinea pig palette um and if she likes it and i like it i'm gonna get another one for myself <laughs> um and then i also bought an eye palette so let me show you the eye palette first because when it comes to my makeup i love doing something on my eyes like just putting a little bit of you know definition on my eye but i always use my bronzers and i honestly just wanted something different that i could play around with so i got this dior backstage eye palette this was in the shade 001 warm neutrals so this is what it looks like that's the packaging and then these are the colors so again very very neutrals but what i loved most about this was yes you have your warm tones but you also have some shimmers in here which is something that i really like to do so sometimes if I, you know when i'm going out if we get the opportunity to go out ever again <laughs> um when i like to go out do my eyeshadow the exact same way so i'll put my bronzer on the outer corner and then i will take my highlighter whether it's the rare beauty one or I've recently been using a Charlotte Tilbury one, which I really, really love, I will put that on the inner corner. So I think it's gonna be nice to have a palette where everything is in here and I can kind of do everything from one palette. And again, it's really nice and sleek. It's not gonna take up too much space. So that was what I got for myself. Um, my mom and I love contour. I'm more of a cream contour gal. She is all about the powder and so she recently ran out of her Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette the one that's got I think um, Six different colors and she was debating whether to just get a new one or maybe refill the colors that she used up um, And she actually decided to also try Dior, but she wanted to try this backstage contour palette, so it's got the four shades in there um, and so she's she likes having the options and so that's what she went with but since I'm here I'm actually gonna give this a try she, she totally said that I could she gave me permission she gave me the green light okay um, but I'm actually gonna try this um, probably today and see how I get on with it and if I like it I am just gonna bite the bullet and buy myself one that way I can you know make use of the little discount that Sephora gives us um, even if it's only like 15% that's fine um so yeah that's pretty much what i got from sephora it wasn't much but again i didn't want to just buy stuff just to buy i know there was a sale um but again most of the stuff here was stuff that i already knew that i loved and it was just kind of having those backups and making use of that little sale that um was there that little discount um, <laughs> um anyways i am supposed to be doing some editing right now but honestly i'm going to be very serious with you i'm going to go take off my makeup and do my makeup and with these products i'll probably take you along with me and just do a little bit of a time lapse because i don't want to spend too much time on it because i do have other stuff to do but i'm really really curious to see how these actually work so i'm probably going to just go take off the very little makeup that i have on today i don't have very much on and play with these new products i know i love the slip 
color. It's just so natural. I absolutely love it. And it feels so hydrating. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, hopefully later, maybe I will find an excuse to go for another walk and leave my apartment because it is so, so beautiful out and it seems like the sun is supposed to come out even more by the end of the day. So yeah, that'll be really nice. But um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go play <laughs> with my new makeup. <laughs> I'll talk to you in a bit. Good morning, everyone. Actually, it is totally not morning. It is afternoon now, but um, it is a new day and it is a very exciting and happy day for me because today was the day that my partnership with Run Skincare <laughs> went live on Instagram. And if you've been around here for some time, you will know that I love Run Skincare. I'm going to start off with my Run Skincare. Clean Skincare HA Tonic. The day you see me work with this brand, let's just have a party because I love this brand. Like, I'm telling you, I love this brand. So if you ever see an ad of me working with Ren Skincare, just know that I'm really happy because <laughs> I love this brand and would love to one day be able to work with them because I just, I really, really love their products. They are, you know, there are a lot of brands that, you know, when you use, you're kind of like, eh, did that really make a difference on my skin? I know, um, I know that's happened to me before, but Run Skincare is a brand that the moment I started using their products, I actually saw a change in my skin. And anyway, so I'm just so excited that I'm working with them. Like, oh, that's so surreal. Such a happy moment for me, and I know you guys will be celebrating with me <laughs> um, but anyways I did get sent a whole bunch of products from them I would say I've tried almost all of them there's only one product that I've just started using for the first time that I've never tried from Ren all the other products I've tried and used for quite some time so I actually wanted to talk you through the products because I actually think I've only talked about two of these products and the rest um, I've just kind of used on my own um, and I didn't mention to you guys so that's what I'm gonna do. Before I get chatting about this skincare, I'm actually wearing this beautiful blue button down from Aritzia. I will link it down below. Aritzia seriously has some of my favorite button downs. The utility button up, I have it in like five colors. You can probably see back there. <laughs> they're some of the best button downs or button ups, I think they're called at Aritzia, that I've ever found. Um, they're just, yeah, really great. But I will link this one down below. I'm also just wearing my Missouri wearing bone necklace. We got my, this is my Tiffany pendants. It's a silver one. Then we've got my Nord Green new watch. It's got the silver and the gold. Got my herringbone bracelet. I've also got, <laughs> I self tanned with this bracelet on and now I have like a, a tan bracelet on there. And then I'm just wearing my little um, earrings as well. But anyways, um, let me talk to you about this product. <laughs> it's not in partnership with them. I'm not working with them in this video. I just wanted to sit down and chat to you about them. So the first one is literally my holy grail. This is the Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. So this is a toner. And this was the product that got me hooked onto Ren Skincare. Um, I never even realized a product could even change my skin so much the way that this one did essentially this made my skin so glowy to the point where i was like do i really need highlighter because my face was just so glowy and just so it looked so healthy but with this product i definitely had to start slow because it was quite strong at least on my skin i did have to start off using it only at night every other day and then i eventually worked up to using it at night every single day and then at one point i was using it morning and night um, but now I'm kind of just back to using it at night every single day and um, with this one you just have to be mindful that you're always using your SPF but um, we should be doing that anyways so so the next product is actually one that I've never mentioned just because it didn't really work out for me um, it's a product that I just I don't know for some reason I just didn't get on with it but this is the perfect canvas clean jelly oil cleanser so this one removes makeup SPF and pollution um, now it's not a terrible cleanser I just found that it left a little bit of an oilier film on my face and I, I didn't love that um, so I think if you're someone who struggles with like really really dry skin and you're constantly left with like skin feeling that's super tight and dry I feel like you really really love this the next product is actually one that I have reintroduced back into my routine and I actually when I first tried this one out way back I absolutely loved it um, but I actually ended up giving it to my mom just because I felt like she would probably benefit more from it than me at the time um, so this is the overnight glow dark spot sleeping cream again I don't have a lot 
lot of hyperpigmentation or dark spots that's why um, I passed it on but this is the most like wonderful nighttime moisturizer I think it was in my last vlog that I did a little bit of a skincare routine with you guys I mentioned that um, I just I really enjoy a thicker moisturizer at night I know in the morning I always use my Clinique the moisture surge this one is nice and light it's gonna feel really light underneath makeup but at night i like to just pack it on okay i need all the thick moisture <laughs> and this one is perfect for that it also smells so nice but yeah if you're looking for a nice thick and rich moisturizer for at night this one is just amazing my other favorite and i think i actually talked about this one in the last vlog as well this is the overnight recovery balm <sighs> i have nothing negative to say about this guy this is one of the best moisturizer balms i've ever used i was using this one honestly probably every other day during the winter because my face was getting super super dry and i just felt like none of my other moisturizers were providing enough moisture for me and so this one after all my toners and serums i would just put a nice thin layer you do not need a lot of this you literally need like the tiniest amount um, you just rub it into your hands you melt it in because it does turn into a little bit of like an oil and then you just put a nice thin layer over your face and your face in the morning is like rejuvenated it's literally amazing um obviously now it's spring you know it's not as cold and dry outside so what i've actually been using this for is my eczema i do have eczema i have like little eczema patches like all over my body and i even had one here in my eyebrow so i've actually been using this almost like a spot treatment on those really dry areas and it's just so hydrating and it's just so so lovely to use um but much like the cleanser if you're someone who does just have like constant dry skin this is probably something you could use every other day just to kind of keep your face moisturized the next product is the evercom global protection day cream i've actually used this one and this is a funny story <laughs> I actually, the first time I ever tried a Ren skincare product was through a little Sephora sample. Like, you know the little samples you can buy with like 100 points and it's like a little tiny tube? Um, that was the first time I ever used Ren and it's how I actually even got introduced to Ren skincare. And I remember liking that sample so much that I would use like the tiniest amount because I didn't want to run out of it. But I also didn't have the income to, to purchase that at the time. Um, because I already had a moisturizer, so I just wasn't going to go out and buy another one because I still had a full tub of whatever I was using at the time. Honestly, it was probably Clinique. Um, and so, yeah, I just didn't have the income to go out and buy a second moisturizer when I still had a full one. This is such a moisturizing moisturizer. Again, because it is their global protection cream, when I know that I'm going to be heading out into the city for a full day, I would probably reach for this as opposed to my Clinique um, just because again it does have that global protection but such an amazing moisturizer as well and the last product is actually the only product I've never tried I mean I have now I, I've used it a few times now and it's one that I've actually had in my cart multiple times um, like multiple times this is the brightening dark circle eye cream I was using my Glossier bubble wrap for quite some time and honestly, I kind of stopped using it just because, I don't know, it wasn't feeling like it was doing much. Um, it was moisturizing, but not a ton. And so I just kind of stopped using it because I just wasn't enjoying it as much. Um, but I've been using this one for the past few days, and it is so, so lovely. It is so moisturizing, and it just feels like it really does just wake up your eye area. So I'm actually really excited to see kind of longer term how this behaves because... Um, I have had such good experiences with the rest of the products that I just, I have a feeling that this is going to end up being really, really nice underneath the under eyes. So anyways, I, that was a very long ramble about all my products, but those are the kind of the main products of Ren. If I had to choose two to three products, I would probably at the moment say it would be the toner, the cream, and the balm. These are just like my holy grails. I just, I love them and I really do use them all the time um but i have a feeling that this little guy is going to be a new favorite um i just i've used it a couple times and i'm already really enjoying how it feels on my skin and that's it's always usually a good sign <laughs> so anyways that was that i just wanted to kind of go through some products i will link everything down below for you guys that way you guys can check it out and if you're from canada um and i think the u.s as well don't forget that sephora still has their savings event happening and i think that ends on the 19th 
Um, so if you wanted to try out and pick up any of these, it's a perfect time to do that because you'll be able to save a little bit of money on that purchase. But um, otherwise, I will try and find links of these products for my UK people and my people outside of North America. So yeah, I will do my best to do that. But yeah, right now I am just getting ready to head out. I am going to spend a day with my mom and dad. Um, we are gonna do, just spend some time, you know, taking it all in and celebrating um, Instagram because honestly I've hit 300K on there and it, that's crazy. Um, and it's just, I feel like everything is moving so, so fast and everything is changing. So I think we just wanna take, you know, take a night and to take it all in and enjoy it and celebrate it. And um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, tonight so I think it's gonna be a really really nice night but yeah I'm just kind of got all my stuff packed I'm just wearing this top with some black trousers and then I'm gonna wear my Holland Cooper blazer this is probably one of my favorite blazers but um, yeah that's why I got my gold jewelry on today but that's what I'm wearing and then I've just got some stuff packed for me but I'm gonna repack all my skincare back in the bag because I had tucked it all away and packed it and then I was like wait a second I should probably vlog a little bit today so anyways, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get going. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to go um, because I am dragging this on. But I will talk to you later. Hello, everyone. I am just outside here getting some fresh air. I've got some Prosecco with me. But um, we made homemade pizzas tonight. So I got all my vegan shebang and we made some pizzas on the barbecue and they're so good so we're just the first one went on now the second one is about to go on and um yeah we should be eating really really soon which i'm very hungry so it's gonna be good but yeah that's kind of the plan for the night and i am almost done reading untamed by glennon doyle and it's been absolutely amazing so tonight um, that's kind of the only thing on my to-do list is finish reading Untamed. If you haven't read it, it's an absolute must read, but yeah. But anyways, I will talk to you later.